What's going on guys? It's Jeff Farina from Jeff.tv and BoomExplode.com. And as you can see here, we have the Google Chromecast directly in front of me. Today is Thursday, I believe July 24th, so it's the day after the announcement. This one came from Amazon, overnight shipping. I have another one coming from Google. There just is Chromecast love everywhere to be found. I want to get it unboxed, and then I want to do a full setup, much like my Google Nexus Q video from last summer. Uh, oddly enough, it was just about a year ago. So, plugs in via HDMI, connects to Wi-Fi, and then you can watch. And these are the apps that are supported right off the bat on your Android phone, Android tablet, and even just Chrome the browser on your Mac, your PC, your phone, your iPhone, your iPad, whatever it may be. YouTube has a built-in button, Netflix, and Google Play. So send a video or anything on the web to your TV from your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. And then as you can see, works with Android, iOS, OS X, and Windows. I'm actually, as far as the desktop testing that we're going to do later on in this video, I'm going to do it with my Surface Pro. Uh, that's my living room computer. So it says peel here. Let's try and get this thing peeled. Man. Not exactly making it easy. All right, there we go. So I just want to get the unboxing done quickly because let's face it, you really want to see this thing in action. Google Chromecast gives you some getting started info. You plug it in, HDMI into your TV, USB into the back. Yes, it does need power. They recommend it actually has a battery, uh, but they recommend leaving it powered on at all times rather than just charging up whenever you need it. Switch the input, get everything set up. Set it up at that web address there. So here it is. Very small. I happen to have a mouse right here. That's the comparison. Gaming mouse, but still. Very small, and there's my PC booting up, but very small. Micro USB on the back here, HDMI on the front. Also included is that micro USB cable, so the USB there. So this is plenty of length. I'm not gonna be using anywhere near as long as that. Power brick for that USB. This is cool, this is awesome in my opinion. US, or an HDMI extender. If this is too fat, if this happens to be too fat to fit into your source of your TV, because let's face it, they really stack some of these HDMI ports, or your receiver, I'm going to be using my receiver. It's definitely too fat. You can use this extender here to bring it out. So you'd actually plug this in here. This would go into your TV or your surround sound receiver, whatever it may be. And again, I'm going to be using my surround sound receiver for this. Then they just give you a little product information booklet. Nothing too crazy, just showing you how to set it up. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs to my living room. We're gonna get everything plugged in, hooked up, and then we're gonna give it its first boot live on camera. All right, so I've gone ahead and moved it up to my living room and as you can see here this is the set me up screen so it's directing me on my laptop to go to google.com slash chromecast slash setup and it's giving me an id this is chromecast 1754 it's just probably a generic tag that it's calling my chromecast so i'm gonna go ahead and go to this address now it's actually downloading an executable file I'll try and show you here so chromecast so you actually have to run a file and it tells you, you have to actually verify it, install it, run it on your laptop the very first time. So if you were hoping to set this up without a computer, that's not going All to right, work. So the obviously. app installs very quickly. You can then accept from there. And it's picking up my network automatically. And as you can see, it's now saying it can't find it. So I may have to mess with some of the settings here to see what we can do. All right, so it's found it, it just took two tries. Saying, okay, Chromecast 1754 connected. Let's go ahead and continue here. So it's connecting to that. And it may mess with the wireless network. It said while it's actually doing this. Yeah. And I actually dropped off there. So this is changing here on the screen. It's awaiting instructions. It gave me some more information here. Do I see that code? That is my code. That's how you verify that it's the correct one. And now you can actually put the password in for the wireless and name the Chromecast that I'm using, which is going to be living room like it shows in the example. So I'm going to get this set up real quick. So it's now connecting to the wireless network, as you can see there on the screen. 
and it's showing the same thing on the surface. This is all part of that initial setup. I'm assuming once I get by this, it'll be much. Yep, there we go. Has the time ready to cast. So it changed very quickly. And here on the app, you just have a start using Chromecast button. So I'll go ahead and click that there. Now we're good to go. So the first thing I want to try is just a YouTube video from my phone. Let's see how well this works. So I'll bring up the YouTube application on my Galaxy Note 2. And right off the bat, it already had touch to connect and play videos on your TV right there in the corner. Just like the Nexus Q used to have. So it automatically picked that up. Not a problem at all. Uh, and let's actually, I'll play one of my brother, one of my brother's League of Legends videos. So here it is playing on my phone. You can hear him and his friends talking. You can turn it sideways. As you can see, that's one of his Let's Plays. So now what I'm going to do is actually press that button there. You'll see how long it takes to send to my TV. So I've hit the button. Now connecting. YouTube on the TV. So it's definitely not instant, but it's not bad. Now the way this works, and the quality right now isn't fantastic. He may have uploaded it incorrectly when he did his video. Let me try and find a better video that I know for a fact will be in HD. Now a lot of people don't realize how this is working. This is actually telling your Chromecast to actually go out and get the file from the cloud so your phone is actually acts as a remote it's not even streaming from your phone i paused that just now on my phone so if i hit play it plays there it's very quickly and i can hit pause pauses very quickly so not bad let's go ahead and open up something i know will be in, in hd uh and let's do all right here we go so this is definitely going to be hd just a, a wheel company that i happen to follow on youtube voss and wheels so again, it's going out finding it, and the quality in this looks much better. I wonder if you can actually scrub. Yeah, so it looks like, as you can see there, the quality. It looks like I'm watching, you know, a regular feed, regular high def feed. It looks pretty good. I'm going to try and scrub here, and we'll see what it does. So not bad. Pretty quick. Continue a little bit further. Sounds good, it's utilizing my, my surround sound. This is running through my home theater receiver, not directly into my TV. Uh, and as you can see, it's working without an, any issue at all. So, can't complain there. All right, so my camera just died while I was recording. Had to repower up. So we left off watching the Vossen video. Now if we go to the Play Store, we we'll go to the Movies and TV section, uh, when you press the preview, what's nice is it pulls it up in YouTube. As you can see there. Now, I don't actually own any videos on the Play Store yet, so can't give you a good example of that, but I can start playing this trailer for G.I. Joe. Again, pretty quick, and I have to say, it, the quality looks really good. It's, it's actually better than what the Nexus Q I had. It's no, no stuttering whatsoever. Seems to be working pretty well. Can't complain. A little bit of artifacting in the background, but... You know, what can you do? It can't be perfect. So I pause that without any issue at all. Now it shows in the notification tray. It actually shows what's playing there. So I can actually go back. I can, you know, go back to the very last video I was watching. As you can see right there. I can now pause that. I can even come out of that. Bring it back locally on the phone. That's pretty cool. Uh, one of the other things is tabs on Chrome. So for example... Tab browsing, I'll show in a second, actually using my Surface Pro, but one main thing I forgot to mention is the Chromecast app on the Android device. Download that. It shows you the apps right here that are compatible. You can actually open up. So there we go. It just brings you to the store, but I'll open up my Netflix account just very briefly, and I'll load up. I've been watching Mad Men, so I'll go ahead and load up Mad Men here. So again, it's now showing you that new button, play shows using... So what this is actually going to do is tell, tell the Chromecast to go to Netflix to get the actual content here. So it's loading. I may have done this incorrectly. This is a trial. So we'll see. Actually, there's the button right there in the bottom right. So I'll go ahead and pick that. My devices. I only have one Chromecast at this time. So living room. 
And there we go. It wasn't bad. Let's see how long it takes before it actually will start to play, though. So some quick buffering. Still quickly buffering. <laughs> And this is something that may get better with time. I don't know if it has to get used to my Netflix account or going to that information because it's pulling everything, you know, again from, yeah, and it's not in HD yet, but it's probably going to slowly buffer into place. There we go. It kicked in a little bit. So it, it, it took a couple seconds for it to really get itself warmed up, but that's not bad. It, it, it plays pretty quickly. And the big thing to keep in mind is you're not having to run a 360 or a PS3 or a computer, whatever it may be for this to work. So that worked out great. Now let's try a tab on my Surface Pro. This would apply to any laptop, any computer, um, any PC, any Mac, anything really, uh, Chromebook. So when you have a tab open in Chrome, there's actually an extension. So if I come up here and open my extensions, you can see Google Cast. That's the extension, that's how Google does it. So let's, this is something I really wanna try and see how this works. Let's try going to live dot twit dot tv and see if it works correctly now the reason i'm saying i'm very curious about that is the way that twit live works is it streams it in a little window here on the screen so is it just going to show that little window is it going to show the whole site i've gone ahead and, and clicked where i want it to stream to and let's cast this tab let's see what it does yeah, so it shows the whole thing. We are continuing our little interview series when I... Now I just click... There we go. So it actually... It, it's kind of like remote control this time, from this app. I actually blew the seven. screen up big there. The so there we go. You'll see it go out now. Known for his redstone creations. He started making videos way back... In see if I can go to a different site while this is actually loading here. Specializes in amazing... So there we go. I went to boomexplode.com while the video was playing. And it automatically changed over. But what's cool is I can now scroll through, and it's scrolling through directly here, as you can see. If I click on an article, it will pull up there, and there you have it. So you can actually see that browsing there. That's pretty cool, especially if you're on Google+, Plus, for example. Let's go to Google+, Plus real quick, so I can give you an example of some of these pictures, how they look. Pulls up Google+, Plus, as you can see Bill getting his Chromecast today, and I can pull up his picture now. The nice thing about Google Plus is the really the, the high resolution. As you can see, that picture looks fantastic. So the big thing is if you were pulling up photo albums from Google Plus, you could stream them to your TV, and it would look great that way, which is actually what it was trying to do there. Uh, but it was only one. If we can find a popular album, maybe. So Bill has a Firehawk album. Let's go ahead and play this. on the slideshow mode and it should start skipping through these now yeah as you can see so it's playing his slideshow of his his firehawk his pretty good looking car right there and it should just start skipping through I don't have to do it automatically there we go so pretty cool and the pictures like I said are full resolution so there's a lot more that's going to be able to happen with this this was a long video just showing first glimpse at it. Now I've gone back to the home. I've actually made my my Surface Pro here, as you can see, sleep. So I don't know if it'll stay on this image, what it will do, but so far I'm impressed. I'm actually going to use this to watch Netflix a lot and watch my YouTube videos, especially on my TV. Um, think of it like a Google TV or a Nexus Q in that sense, but $35 and then so, so much more. Um, the API is completely open, so any developer can add the Chromecast button to their app as they so please. So that's a really cool aspect of it. We'll see where it goes. I'm curious if you guys have any thoughts, what you'd like to see, what kind of apps you want to run or to be compatible with the Chromecast. Throw it in a comment. Um, argue amongst yourselves you know, you, you, like you typically do because it's always good to hear the, the feedback of what you guys would like to see on this thing. So throw some ideas out, disagree, whatever it may be. And stay tuned for more videos on the Chromecast. And thank you very much for watching, everyone. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.